Welcome everybody to St. Patrick's Cathedral, America's Parish Church. We are live streaming our Holy Mass this morning from uh, joining our parishioners who are sitting in the pews along with our many hundreds and thousands of virtual parishioners throughout the country. I'm always grateful to all of you who are helping to support us and to help us uh, keep the lights on and, and keep going to be a, a beacon of hope for America and for the world. Um, in your goodness and in your charity, please remember um, a very, very sweet little person, Riley Cannon, who's only eight months old. And today she's going to undergo a CAT scan uh, to help her health. So please remember her and her uh, family in your prayers. The Mass this morning is offered for Luis Girbeau Villaret and for his intentions. Uh, later today, Mass will be offered for Mary Malloy, Angelo Nania, Rudolph and Anne Pietra, Pietra Anglier, uh, Marie and Tony Stolars, Agatha and Peter Wozniak, and Barbara Nival. So please remember them all in your prayers. Uh, we celebrate today the memorial of the dedication of the Basilica of St. Mary Major, one of the four major basilicas in Rome and the uh, place where the Blessed Mother, our, our Holy Mother, has been honored for, for centuries. So please join us in our prayer together. In order to actively participate during the Mass, please download today's worship program on your smartphone or tablet at www.stpatrickscathedral.org slash live. We ask that you continue wearing your mask as you sing during Mass. Please join in singing the first verse of the opening hymn, Love Divine, All Loves Excelling. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My sisters, my brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, you my brothers, brothers and sisters, and sisters that, that I have greatly sinned, sinned in my thoughts and in my, thoughts, and in my, my words, words in what I have done and what I have failed, failed to do. To do. Through my, through my fault, fault through, through my fault, fault through, through my, my most grievous, grievous fault. fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed, blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, Virgin, all the angels and saints, and, saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, sisters to pray for me to, to the Lord, Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie eleison. Kyrie Let us pray. Pardon the faults of your servants, we pray, O Lord, that we who cannot please you by our own deeds 
may be saved through the intercession of the mother of your son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. At that time, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the tribes of Israel, and they shall be my people. Thus says the Lord, the people that escaped the sword have found favor in the desert. As Israel comes forward to be given his rest, the Lord appears to him from afar. With age old love, I have loved you. So I have kept my mercy toward you. Again, I will restore you and you shall be rebuilt, O virgin Israel. Carrying your festive tambourines, you shall go forth dancing with merrymakers. Again, you shall plant vineyards on the mountains of Samaria. Those who plant them shall enjoy the fruits. Yes, a day will come when the watchman will call out on Mount Ephraim, rise up, let us go to Zion, to the Lord our God. For thus says the Lord, shout with joy for Jacob, Exult at the head of the nations, proclaim your praise and say, the Lord has delivered his people, the remnant of Israel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord, the Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations, proclaim it on distant isles and say, he who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The, the Lord, Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessings. The, the Lord, Lord will guard us as a shepherd guards his flock. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. The, the Lord, Lord will guard us as the shepherd guards his flock. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. <clears throat> At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But he did not say a word in answer to her. His disciples came and asked him, send her away for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did him homage, say, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. 
and her daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we remember a, a church in Rome, St. Mary Ma uh, Major, and it's one of the four major basilicas in Rome. St. Peter's, St. Paul's outside the wall, um, St. Mary Major. Uh, and uh, we, we remember that uh, we are connected as Catholics, uh, we are connected uh, to uh, the rest of the world by our faith. Uh, one of the most important parts of uh, being a Catholic is knowing that we have brothers and sisters in, in the faith that are completely different from ourselves. They speak different languages, they live in different parts of the world, their culture is very, very different, and yet we share the same faith uh, that brings us together, that the same faith that makes us Catholics. Uh, and the word, of course, Catholic means universal. So today, even though we're in America, uh, very, very far from Rome, and we're at St. Saint Patrick's Cathedral, we still remember another very holy and important church in the history of, of our Catholic faith, St. Mary Major. And so we uh, join our prayers with the prayers of all of the Catholics throughout the world uh, in remembering the, this very special church dedicated to the Holy Mother of God, uh, the first and the most important of all the, of the churches dedicated to her. So in our own uh, prayer today, we should also remember the Blessed Virgin Mary and pray, ask the Lord to watch uh, over all of the people that are important to us and ask our Blessed Mother to intercede for all of the people that need our help. Uh, the, the, the little baby that we were pr talking about is a perfect uh, reason for us to ask the Blessed Mother to intercede for her health. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our shepherd, Cardinal Dolan, that God bless them and guide them, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have asked us to pray for them, that the Lord's healing and loving hand may touch their lives, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who work for the defense of human life from its earliest moment, for those who work for peace and for justice, especially in America, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That there be peace in our streets and throughout our country, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For American military personnel throughout the world, especially in Afghanistan and those in harm's way, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the people of Lebanon who have just experienced a terrible catastrophe, that God may strengthen them and bring them hope and peace, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in the silence of our own hearts, let each of us add our own particular intention. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O oh Lord our God, we ask you to listen to our prayers. We bring them to you in the name of Jesus, our brother and savior, who is with you as God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed, Blessed be, God be God forever. forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in us the divinity of Christ who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands who will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be, Blessed God, be God forever. forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of my sins. 
My sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord, may the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. As we honor the memory of the mother of your son, we pray, O Lord, that the oblation of this sacrifice may by your grace make of us an eternal offering to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation to praise your mighty deeds in the exaltation of all the saints, and especially as we celebrate the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to proclaim your kindness as we echo her thankful hymn of praise. For truly, even to earth's ends, you have done great things and extended your abundant mercy from age to age when you looked on the lowliness of your handmaid. You gave us, through her, the author of our salvation, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> the mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. 
through him and with him and in him, O God, O mighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the the kingdom, kingdom, the the power, and the glory are yours now now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy worthy that that you should should enter under my my roof, but but only say the word and my soul soul shall be healed. healed. The communion hymn is Shepherd of Souls, Refresh and Bless. Shepherd of souls, refresh and bless thy chosen pilgrim flow.
Lord. It has long been a Catholic understanding that when circumstances prevent one from receiving Holy Communion, it is possible to make an act of spiritual communion, which is a source of grace. Spiritual communion is an ardent desire to receive Jesus in the most holy sacrament and lovingly embrace him at a time or in circumstances when one cannot receive him in sacramental communion. The most common reason for making an act of spiritual communion is when a person cannot attend Mass. Acts of spiritual communion increase our desire to receive sacramental communion and help us avoid the sins that would make us unable to receive Holy Communion worthily. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day, everybody. The closing hymn is Sing of Mary.